So man, it's your boy the kid, Sean 3 3 I said I was gonna make another video, so this is my second video. Um, this is about Kwame Brown. You know, I'm not I'm not making no money off YouTube, so I'm not trying to get no money off this man's name or nothing. You know, I didn't see a lot of YouTubers blow up and get their views and money, which they should, off Kwame Brown. But this is a disagreement. I, I um have with Kwame Brown and I don't understand. So my thing was Kwame Brown, okay, two weeks ago you came out, you know, you said uh Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson was talking about you. Um, you know, discrediting what you did in the league, not sent mentioning your name <clears throat> and all types of other stuff. But at the end of the day, Yes, they did that, but did they say anything personal about you? You know? Did they say anything personal about you? They didn't say Kwame, a bitch, you a bum. They kept it basketball. They uh, Stephen A. Smith kept it basketball. So when you first came, when you first started making your videos, I'm like, okay, I understand him. They've been talking about him. About they've been talking about him as a basketball player, you know, which you can defend your basketball skills. You can say you didn't get this many amount of minutes. You can say I didn't play this well. You can say this team drafted me, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, only you got control. You can control how you play, how you prepare, how you get better as a basketball player. They can't play for you. So at the end of the day, if you felt like your career wasn't what it should have been or you felt like people criticized you, that's on you. You could have changed the narrative by working on your game and proving as a basketball player. It seems like just excuses. And at this point, you just dissing everybody. Like, what is your true message? I, I seen one of your videos where you're saying you're helping kids, you know, get shoes and helping them out with stuff they don't have that their parents can't afford. You said you was brought up, you didn't you didn't have many pairs of shoes and all type of stuff. And I can respect that. You're trying to help the youth and the children, but at the end of the day, if you're going to continue to diss and pe diss and diss and diss and talking about Stephen A. Smith, talking about Stephen Jackson, at a certain point, diss and get old. I mean, everybody loves drama. I mean, people been watching you tuning in for the last three weeks because you disrespecting other people. You're calling out people, which you should. It's a lot of people that need to be called out. Charlamagne. I mean, Stephen A. He got his ways where he do some 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 weird shit. I don't like how he disrespect Kyrie Irving. But Charlemagne, Stephen Jackson, Stephen Jackson, he's a fake activist in my opinion, bro. Like you you claim George Floyd was your brother, but the man couldn't get twenty dollars from you. He 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 got fake money and you a millionaire. You couldn't get that man no money, so it's all fake bullshit to me. But anyway, you was calling out all these people, Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes seemed cool. I ain't really, you know, he seemed real. But you calling out all these people. But what is your true message? What is you trying to what is you trying to lead or what are you trying to get behind? Do you wanna are you trying to help the youth or do you just wanna bash people who've been talking about your basketball career? Because everybody who talks about you is strictly basketball, man. It's nothing personal. Stephen A. Smith came out yesterday and critiqued your basketball game. He showed, he showed bloopers of you missing shots and all that type of stuff. But not one time I see Stephen A. disrespect you, called you out your name or anything. You call this man a bitch, a hoe, a coon, and all that. Well, Stephen A. got coon ways. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But at the end of the day, that's his job, bro. So you want him to stop doing what, what he get paid to do, what he feed his family for, because you feel some type of way 20 years later? You could have you could have changed the narrative. You could have shut Stephen A. Smith the hell up if you would have played better as a basketball player. You seven feet tall. You never averaged double digit rebounds. Thirteen seasons in the league, you only had one double digit scoring season. Not saying you sorry, but where where's the improvement, man? Why why weren't you in the gym more? Yes, you made it. You got your mama crib. Your family living good. You made millions of dollars in your career. You made it. But everybody just calling you a bust because you didn't live up to the expectations. 
You know, you made millions of dollars, made millions of dollars, and you didn't get it done. You had, I mean, who can you blame but yourself? As men, as people, as black people, as people in general, eventually we got to say, okay, I'll take the blame for that. Or we got to be, we got to hold ourselves responsible for our actions and what we do in life. Everybody want to make an excuse. Oh, this man was bashing me when I was 18 years old. Man up. It's the NBA. It's his job. To, he's an analyst. It's his job to talk, uh, critique players' games, talk about them. You can shut every every analyst and every person up if you play better. You know, if I play better as a if if I if I threw three interceptions, if I'm a if, or if I'm a basketball player, I score zero points and the whole everybody talking shit about me. I can shut them the fuck up by scoring 20, 20 points, ten points, twenty five points. That's how you do it. I think you just upset because. You, you, it's like, it feel like you, you trying to like, you know, cause you didn't have a good basketball career. You trying to make it off YouTube, um, make it off YouTube and have it to the point where, oh, I didn't do good in basketball, but now I, I feel like I, I'm a celebrity now. I'm on YouTube and you're getting all these views and subscribers, which you should, cause you got to tell your truth or your story. But at the end of the day. Don't get mad when Stephen A. Smith, Matt Barnes, or Stephen Jackson laugh at you and say you wasn't a good basketball player because you was the only one in that gym. Stephen Jackson wouldn't help you in the gym. Only every player, every athlete, they can only control. They can control what they put out on the court or whatever sport they in. You got full control on that. So it's no excuse for you to be mad 20 years later about what they said about your game what in which you could have uh improved or silenced the critics i mean come on man i like what you i like i like some of the stuff you're doing but some of the stuff you're doing is getting old i mean how long are you gonna keep dissing people i'm, I'm glad you called Charlemagne out on him getting a, away with raping a, a girl man which is not right at all i hate rapists Rapists was worse than murderers, in my opinion. But Kwame Brown, at some point, bro, you got to take responsibility for what you did on the court and own up to it. Don't get mad when people is critiquing your basketball game. You brought you brought it personal when you called Stephen A. out his name. You talked about Matt Barnes' kids. You talked about his wife getting smashed by Derek Fisher. You did that. They kept it strictly basketball, man. And my thing is, don't get mad when people talk about your basketball game or disagree with you. I'm seeing all these Kwame Brown fans all of a sudden. You got a pen or you don't you disagree about something you say. Man, you a coon. You a beta male. All this beta male, alpha male shit. That's shut up, man. I'm a male. I ain't beta or alpha. I'm a male. I'm a man. I grew up with my dad. I ain't, you know, I'm not, I'm a man. Fuck that beta male, alpha male. I don't prove shit. Because at the end of the day, you can be an alpha male. And you can still not handle your business. You can be a beta male and you still cannot. You know, it don't. It, I'm a man. Fuck all that beta alpha male shit. So y'all Kwame Brown fans, stop being hoes when somebody disagrees with something he says. And Kwame Brown, stop dodging shit when people stop uh, dodging questions or deflecting when somebody disagrees with you. I seen you on Ticket TV's uh, show, Pro Basketball Updates. You was dodging hella questions. So let's be real, man. Let's be honest. You could you could have controlled the narrative everybody got Stephen A. Smith got about you if you would have played better and you worked on your game. You didn't do it. What's your excuse? So don't get mad when he talks about you when other players call you a bus. Was you a bus? No, you played 13 seasons. But you didn't live up to the expectations of a number one pick. A number one pick, they were assuming you were going to be an all-star have way more seasons than averaging 10 plus, having way more double-digit seasons than one. Out of your 13 seasons, you have one double-digit scoring season. That's not good for a number one pick, especially somebody who's seven foot. You had natural talent. You didn't work on your game. So don't get mad when people critique your game. Let's be real. Let's be honest. I like what you're doing. I like how you're calling people out. 
you know, you letting a lot of people, YouTubers, eat and get money off of you. I respect that. You ain't blocking nobody. You ain't flagging no channels. I respect that. But at the end of the day, everybody doesn't agree with what you say. What you say or everybody everybody can have an opinion, man. What's ha what's wrong with having an opinion nowadays? Just because somebody disagree with you, they a coon. Stephen A. kept it basketball. Matt Barnes kept it basketball. Stephen Jackson kept it basketball. You took it personal. Let's be real. But, man, I want to make the video, man. It's Kid Sean 3 3 sign off. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all the support, man. Everybody be safe. Love. Mo.